Just fix the truck. My first enlistment in the army I was a mechanic. In our unit we had three staff sergeants for some reason. Sergeant E was on the last year of his contract and would be retiring. He was assigned as the motor supply sergeant, a position that was made up so he could ride the pine, since we were overstaffed. Sergeant G was assigned as the maintenance supervisor and oversaw the preventative maintenance and repair of the vehicles in the motor pool. The third one was our platoon sergeant and doesn't feature in the story. Every Monday the vehicle operators would come to the motor pool to perform their weekly vehicle inspections. The mechanics would effect any repairs that were possible at the time like changing out burnt bulbs, stuff that was easy and could get the vehicle rolling. Then we would begin performing repairs to any vehicle that had a deadline deficiency, a deficiency that needs to be repaired before the vehicle can be operated. These don't necessarily mean the vehicle isn't operational, just that operating the vehicle in that condition can cause greater problems. Then we'd fix the rest. Usually on Friday we'd order any parts that we needed to repair what was left. After the operators left on Monday, the inspection sheets were divvied up between the mechanics, and we got to work. One week I had a fairly easy workload and got all of my sheets finished by Wednesday. There was only one vehicle that had a deadline deficiency left, and the rest were ordering parts. The vehicle in question had been taken by the operators every day. I called the unit to let them know that the vehicle had a deadline deficiency and needed to return to the motor pool. They were short on vehicles and long on work and had been stalling, so I informed my squad leader and left it at that. I went to the office and began ordering parts. When my work was completed I would assist other mechanics with theirs. Sergeant G walks in and asks why I was in the office, and I informed him that the rest of my work was complete and I was ordering parts. He asked to see my inspection sheets and started looking through them. I tried to explain about the one vehicle, but he cut me off and said he'd see what the paper said. He saw the deadline deficiency and ordered me out to repair that vehicle immediately. I tried to object and explain the situation, but he cut me off again and ordered me to go out and fix the vehicle. I tried a third time to explain. Again he cuts me off and says, I don't want your f***ing excuses. I want your ass out on the line fixing that f***ing truck. If I see you doing anything else before it's fixed it'll be an Article 15. An Article 15 is non-judicial punishment and can result in reduction of rank or forfeiture of pay. Roger, Sarge. I'm on it. I walked to the rack of manuals for the vehicles, pulled the appropriate one, and found the size of the bolts on the part that needed changed. Grab my wrenches and head out to the assigned spot for the vehicle. I laid down right there, raised my tools and began making wrenching motions with my arms. I did this for over an hour, with some breaks of course. Those were some giant wrenches. I saw people looking at me and pointing. Eventually someone went to Sergeant T and told him what I was doing, and he comes over to check it out. He watches me wrenching for a minute or two, head cocked. What are you doing squirrel? Fixing this truck, Sergeant. It's got a deadline. He was looking at me real funny now like I had heat stroke or something. Squirrel, you do realize that the truck ain't here, right? Sarge, I know this, and you know this, but Sergeant G doesn't want to hear my f***ing excuses. He wants my ass out on the line fixing this f***ing truck. Sergeant T told me to get up and get back to work. I told him that she had threatened an Article 15 he said he'd take care of it. I took a smoke break to give them time to resolve the issue before I went back to the office. Not sure what Sergeant T said, but she had a scowl on his face when I came back to order my parts.